Yo, what is happening, you soft serve Cedra? So today we're gonna be taking a look at some of the new leaked cards from Dark Phantasma. But before we take a look at the cards, I wanna remind you guys, if you need to buy new cards or buy old cards or sell new cards or sell old cards, then hover to fullgripgames.com is where you can do all of your selling and buying of the Pokemon cards. But don't sell cards and then buy the exact same cards you just sold because that makes no sense if you're gonna sell your cards Buy some different cards. What are you doing? All right, let's go ahead and let's take a look at these cards. The first one up is the Beautifly, and it is a stage two. Now, I'm a little bit hopeful for this card because we are getting a ton of grass support recently. Maybe we're going to get something that makes this Beautifly viable, whether it be, I don't know, maybe something like Forest of Giant Plants. That seems a little bit unlikely, but uh, yeah, the card, anyway, stage two. Once in your turn, you may draw a card from your deck until you have six in your hand. But the real thing is there's no really reason to play something like this. A stage two, when we have something like B-Barrel, that's a stage one. Sure, B-Barrel draws one less card, but do we really want to get all the way up to a stage two just to draw one more card per turn? I don't think so. I think we're going to be sticking with B-Barrel in most decks, unless some kind of crazy grass support comes out that allows Beautifly to get in play faster and more efficiently. I don't really see us playing this one anytime soon. Stick to your B-Barrels, but like I said, I'm a little bit hopeful for some potential grass support to come out because we haven't getting so much recently. The next one up is this Clefairy with the Moon Watching ability. Once you turn, if this Pokemon is in your active spot, you may search your deck for a Psychic Energy attached to each of your bench Clefairy, then shuffle your deck. So this ability, it's actually just super good. The question is, is there gonna be a combo, or is there gonna be a card that is worth comboing this with? And the one that comes to mind initially is the new Weird Deer or whatever card that's coming out uh, that has the ability when it comes from the bench to the active, you can put all your energy from anywhere on your board to it, and then it does 40 times the amount of energy attached to it. So you could like have a Clefairy in your active, use the ability, switch to a new Clefairy, use the ability, air balloon retreat into the Weird Deer, and you just are hitting like really hard. Um, <laughs> that could be pretty good to be honest. And of course, actually the Clefairy's attack isn't that bad either. Uh, 20 damage for each Psychic Energy attached to your Pokemon. If you build up like 10 Psychic Energy in play, I mean, you're doing 200 damage. Sure, you might lose three of them because of the Clefairy, but then if you just like, I don't know, energy recycle them back into the deck, set up another Clefairy, do it again. This thing is interesting the clefairy is definitely interesting really strong ability is there a good pokemon to combo with is the question i don't think straight clefairy is gonna cut it but to be honest the more i'm thinking about it i don't hate the idea of straight clefairy that could actually be a deck all right the next big one hasuyan elect or, or hasuyan am i saying that right electrode v for zero energy this attack does 100 damage for each special condition on this pokemon okay that's the first part of this the next one is the parasect when you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your, po one of your pokemon you may use this ability both active pokemon are now asleep and poisoned but you're like oh my gosh how are you going to attack with your electrode if it's asleep you can't attack while you're asleep sure it has two conditions on it for being asleep and a poison because of the parasect but now you can't attack oh no what will we ever do that's right they printed mechanical arm the pokemon this this tool is attached to can attack even if it's asleep or paralyzed so you can, you know, set up your Hasuian Voltorb. By the way, the attack costs zero energy. I don't know if I mentioned that, but now I'm mentioning that. It costs zero energy to use the Voltorbs or the Electrodes attack. Uh, and then also has another attack, Grass Colorless 120, discard all energy from this Pokemon. But I think in this deck, you're going to be running zero energy. So you use the Parasect, you put your dude to a sleep and poison him, and then you attach the Mechanical Arm, and then you're hitting for 200 that way. I'm sure there's another way to get another damage counter on this Electrode. I just can't think of it right now, but I'm sure it exists out there. But anyways... You could be hitting pretty hard. If you just get one more special condition on this Electrode, you're hitting for 300 damage, plus their poison, so that's 310, plus you can put... Oh, I guess you can't put a Choice Belt on it because you have the Mechanical Arm attached, so never mind that. Up next, Radiant Hisuian Sneasler. Is that the correct name, or am I getting trolled here right now with this name? Is it actually called Hisuian Sneasler? Not Sneasel anymore, it's a Sneasler? Oh, it's one of the Radiant Pokemon, so you can only have one in your deck, or Sparkling, I don't know what ours are going to be called. Ability, Poison Peak, put two more damage counters on your opponent's Poison Pokemon during your opponent's checkup. So you can combo this even further with the Electro deck. When they're poisoned, they're taking three, so they're taking a little bit of extra damage. But I actually think this is just a pretty strong card in general. And we could see it be potentially be played in other decks besides just some kind of Electro V deck. Plus two poison damage has always been good in the past when it's this accessible on something like a basic Pokemon. We've usually had it before in the past on the Verbank City Gym, but that one... Uh, we had combo that with Hypnotoxic, Hypnotoxic Laser specifically, so if we don't really have anything that can efficiently poison our Pokemon, the Sneasler probably won't be great, but if we do, if there is something out there, the Sneasler could definitely be good, because that's like a, a pretty big damage boost, instead of just doing poison for one night, doing poison for 30, I mean, you maybe get some Toxic Croaks involved, and you're doing that much more, so 
who knows the sneezer could be good and maybe the hypest most hype card that's been leaked is the Hisuian Arcanine. Now, I am super excited for this card because I always enjoyed playing the old Granbull deck. So the Hisuian Arcanine has an attack that I'm, oh, Omnidirectional Destruction. I saw it. I was like, that's a big word. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. But then I like read it and I was like, oh, Omnidirectional Destruction for zero energy, for no energy. You don't need energy on the Arcanine. 10 damage. If you have no cards in your hand, this attack does 150 more. So 100 and 60 damage this is super reminiscent of the grand bull deck that we had a little while back whereas if you had zero cards in hand for one fairy energy on the grand bull you were doing some amount of damage that was pretty relevant because the deck like ended up being pretty solid but it wasn't like that good or broken or anything the assuming arcanine doesn't even need energy to attack but i feel like we have less tools currently to make the arcanine work the old one you used to use the instructor angaru with uh Bacargo. and with this new one i mean we have guru I'm, we have B-Barrel, we have Meowth to discard cards out of our hand. I'm sure there's some way to make it work. How good will it be? I don't know. It is fighting type. Arceus is weak to fighting, and so is the new Zora card coming out. So this could be a pretty solid deck in the format overall when you take advantages of those weaknesses. Dunsparce, of course, is still in the format, but Boss's Orders is also still in the format. So maybe we're Boss and Dunsparce, and then we're Bop and Arceus, and we're Bop and Zoroarks after that. Who knows? It's a cool card. It's a sick attack. Hopefully, it's at least decent. No matter what, I'm going to try and make a deck with it. Um, no matter what happens, I'm going to try and make a deck with it and try and make it work. And hopefully it actually becomes a meta deck because decks like this have always been sick in the past. I guess the only one that I can really think of is Gramble, but that deck was sick in the past. So hopefully this deck is sick in the future. And that's going to cover all of the new cards leaked from Dark Phantasma. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. Check out the secondary YouTube channel where I'm going to be uploading content uh, uploading content regularly as well. So make sure you go check out the secondary YouTube channel. Uploading almost every day over there as well. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.